Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. A jazz con, who was recently arrested by Narcotics Control Bureau NCB in a drug case, has tested positive for COVID-19 in custody. As per reports, he is being shifted to a hospital, while the officer involved in the probe will also undergo a COVID test. AJAZ Khan tests positive for COVID-19. Ajaz Khan was recently arrested by the NCB and sent to custody till April 5. Now, the television actor has tested positive for the novel coronavirus. He will be shifted to a hospital at the earliest. On the other hand, the investigating officer who was working on the case will also undergo a mandatory COVID-19 test as a precautionary measure. AJAZ Khan's custody extended till April 5. Ajaz Khan was arrested by the NCB on April 1 on charges of being involved with drug peddlers Farooq Batata and his son Shadab Batata. The actor was produced in court on April 3. While at first, the court had remanded Ajaz Khan to NCB custody till Saturday, April 3, his custody was extended till April 5. This was following the request of the NCB officials who informed the court that they wanted to interrogate him further regarding a recent seizure made at the residence of a television actor, Gaurav Dixit, on Friday night, April 2, at Lokandwala in Undari, Mumbai. The lead regarding Dixit dealing in drugs was generated through Ajaz Khan. NCB officials informed the court that they needed to interrogate Ajaz further and other suspects who were in touch with Dixit and were dealing with drugs. Officials also informed the court that Ajaz himself consumed drugs he procured from Shadab Batata and also peddled those drugs. In addition, the NCB officials also alleged that Ajaz could influence witnesses and inform suspects, so they need to keep him in custody to interrogate him about the drug chain run by him and his associates. After hearing argument from both sides, the court had sent Ajaz Khan to NCB custody till April 5. Ajaz Khan was intercepted at Mumbai Airport upon his arrival from Rajasthan on March 31 and then served a notice and brought to the NCB office for questioning. He was questioned for several hours and then placed under arrest on April 1.